Hello guys, welcome to today's lesson where we will select the equation from graph roots level one on Delta Math. So let's go ahead and get started. It says, which equation choice could represent the graph shown below? So when we're looking at the graph, what we're looking for is our zeros. We're looking for our zeros. Or we're talking about the roots. Or we're talking about the x-intercepts. Those are all the same, okay? So please, please don't get confused between zeros, roots, and x-intercepts. Those are all the same. So we need to find those first to be able to find our factors. So my first zero is x equals negative 7. My second zero is x equals positive 1 because that's where it crosses the x-axis. And then my third one is x equals 6. All right. So we have three different zeros. Because we have those zeros, we know that our factors are going to be the following. So some students get confused as to how to find the factors. Remember that the factors are the binomials that multiply to give us the polynomial. Normally, we solve these factors and say, what gives me negative 7? So let's look at this one. If I have x minus 7 and I set it equal to 0, the answer is going to be x equals positive 7, but we want negative 7. So really our factor here is going to be x plus 7 because subtracting the 7 will give me that negative 7 up there. If this is x equals 1, the factor has to be x minus 1 because when you add the 1, then it gives you x equals 1. And then x equals 6 would be x minus 6. So there are your factors. And that would be the solution to that problem. All right. So let's see which one is the answer. You have to be very careful with the signs here. I see that they try to confuse you. They give you all variations. So there we go. Let's go ahead and try another one. OK, let's try this one. And this comes to the concept of multiplicities. So let's look at this one. My zeros are x equals negative 4. That's my first zero on the left. And then x equals 1. All right. Now, this one's a little different because delta math is talking about multiplicities here. What is a multiplicity? Multiplicity is the number of times a root occurs. occurs or appears you could think about it um really from a graph we can only determine if it's even number of times or odd number of times okay but in delta math if it's even we're gonna assume it's twice so in delta math we're gonna assume it occurs twice if i can spell assume <laughs> because 2 is um, even. And then if it's odd, or if we find the um, multiplicity is odd, we're going to assume it appears one time. All right. Again, this is just an assumption that delta math had to have made, because this 1 could have been to the fourth degree. So my 0 is x equals negative 4. And because it crosses through the graph, that means that the function goes through the x-axis. That has a multiplicity of 1, so I only see it one time. I only see it one time. However, look at the 1. When it comes to 1, it barely touches it, and it goes up. Notice that, how it comes down at 1, and it barely touches it. That means that our multiplicity is even. Again, for delta math purposes, we're going to assume that it occurs twice. So my factor is x minus 1, and it occurs twice. And that's going to be the answer for this one. x plus 1, x plus 4 minus times x minus 1 times x minus 1. So for delta math purposes, we assume it's even. Let's see if I can find another good one. Nope, nope. Okay, this one. So here at the negative 8, Notice that it barely touches it, so we're going to assume that it has a double multiplicity because it's supposed to be even, and this one has a multiplicity of 1. So our answer would be C. All right, let's go ahead and try another level. Let's go ahead and try the level 3. 
again, level three, it comes up and it touches it. And that negative five root is an even multiplicity, so we're going to assume it's twice. Notice that this time it's written different. It's written with an exponent. So if this is x, this is my, um, x equals negative 5, it's going to be x plus 5 with the multiplicity of 2. And if this is positive 6, then it's x minus 6. So our answer is C on that one. All right. Let's see. Ooh, look at this one. We are at negative 8. And we're at negative one. And notice that both of these occasions, it barely touches the graph. It does not go down through like this. So that means that this one has an even multiplicity and this one has an even multiplicity. And for math, delta math purposes, we're going to assume that it occurs twice. So that's going to be x plus eight because it was negative eight twice. And then this is x equals negative one. So that's x plus one occurred twice. So the answer is C. All right. Go ahead and try this one real quick. Go ahead and try this one. Pause the video. Think which one is it? All right, so hopefully you pause the video. So let's try this one. Notice that at negative 5, it comes up and touches it. That means it's an even multiplicity. And for our purposes, we're assuming that it occurs twice. And then here, it's one multiplicity because it goes through. Technically, it's odd. So which one of these is it? It is because this is negative 5, so the factor always includes the x, is x plus 5 squared, and then you got a negative 7. So there's our answer. All right, guys, hopefully this video helped you. Let me know if you have any questions, and leave me a like if you liked the video. Have a good day.